Welcome to this week's headlines for Amuse News. Whitney Houston's hologram has been used without permission on a Scott Storch hosted live stream. Whitney herself called Scott asking for her ghost back. The consequences could be haunting. Weird Al Yankovic has written a song and released a video about the last presidential debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Yankovic's song is appropriately titled We Are All Doomed, which isn't really news anymore. He has Trump and Biden singing about cows, bleach and forest cities, so pretty much the most important subjects for the US presidential debate. Billie Eilish is finally publishing a music video of her song for the new James Bond movie. Not the clever marketing hype the filmmakers intended. The video is more of a post-mortem as the song has had more than enough time to die. Critics who claim that pop artists aren't writing good quality songs anymore would do well to check out the latest release from Miley Cyrus. Her passionate heart of glass shows that pop music in 2020 is just as fresh interesting and creative as it was back in the day when that song was first released 42 years ago. The Vienna Philharmonic has just uploaded a new video on YouTube of its members playing Haydn as a musical greeting from Vienna. Presently they seem to be diminished to three people. Where are the other ones? Haydn? The Minnesota Orchestra agrees on a 25% pay cut for two years due to coronavirus. However, violinists for the time being will not be required to play the E string. Most people are outraged, but the viola players fail to see the problem. For those of you who don't speak music, viola players don't have an E string. See you again next week. If you subscribe, to my channel, then the world will be a better place. Well, not really, but it will help me. So please subscribe.